Gusto mo na bang ipagroom ang iyong chow chow? Or pinapagroom mo siya, pero parang lagi na lang may palya every time magpapagupit ang iyong dog. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the tips in looking for the best groomer for you and yung mga red flags na kailangan nyo laging pinitake note. So if you wanna know more, please keep on watching. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Say hi to my dog, Cleo. Say hi to him. Hi, B. Yep. Hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome again to another day, another Sunday of vlogging for you guys. So, before I start, comment of the week muna tayo. Our comment of the week will be come from we come from will come from uh, Jar Michel Mauricio. He says, "Where did you bought your crate or where did you buy your crate?" So, lagi kong nakukuha tong tanong na to, ini-email pa nga ako kung saan ko daw nakuha yung crate ko nung maliit si Theodore. Bili ko po siya again sa uh, Facebook Marketplace. So, yung size niya is X XXL or pwede din yung X L, pero most of the time, mas maganda yung mas malaki. So, there. Okay, thank you for that comment, um, Jarvis Cell. So, thank you for watching my uh, vlogs. So, guys, ito na yung mga tips ko sa mga groomers. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I get this question a lot. Yung, when should I groom my chow chow? Kailan ba ako magsa-start? Anong age? Pwede ba by papi pa lang siya, ipagupit na. Depende dun sa growth ng hair ng chow chow mo. Pero ang recommendation is 8 months and above, dun mo pa lang ikakat or itatry itrim yung hair ng iyong chow chow. So, bakit ba? Ang unang um, tumupo yung hair niya dun sa full potential. Like, let it, let it grow naturally first. Okay, tip number one, parang lang to dun sa vet bago kayo pumunta. Research first, okay? Look at their social media and business pages. Reviews are very, very important. And since nagahanap ka ng grooming service, usually yung mga legit talaga ng mga grooming services, pinapakita nila yung before and after na results ng kanilang mga ginugroom na pets. Now, if yung social media at business page nila, eh, walang photos or naka-turn off ang kanilang comment uh, section. Ako, sorry, pass. Ganun ako agad. Simple lang po ako. Move on ako agad. Um, I will not waste my time asking pa kasi very, very important na nire-review ang iyong business. Ngayon, kung tinatago mo yun, baka there's something going on. Tip number two, ask the rate first. So, bakit ito? Oh, malamang matik na matinatanong natin magkano agad. Pero usually, ang range ng isang chow-chow is depende on the weight at laki na niya. Depende kung puppy or adult na siya. Pero, 1,000 to 2,000 pesos, yun na yung pinaka-affordable and acceptable price na na-experience ko. Now, beyond that or under that, medyo questionable na yun. And also, it depends on whether kung sa shop mo talaga siya ipapagroom or home service. So, doon na lang nagbabati. Tip number three, always ask for the inclusions. So, ito yung nami-miss na part ng mga uh, owners eh. Yung ano yung included doon. Kasi minsan yung 2,000 bath lang pala yun, or cut and bath lang pala yun. Pero most of the time, yung mga 1,000 to 2,000 inclusive na yung haircut, yung bath, yung nails, yung teeth, yung ears. So, yun yung lima usually na inclusive. Ito, another tip to. Most likely, kung kachat mo sila, let them assess your dog. So, send a picture, okay? Kasi ito, na, na budol na ako nito mga twice. Pagdating nila sa house or pagbala ko dun sa dog ko sa shop, sasabihin, um, additional 500 pala to, ma'am, kasi custom cut or ganito, ganyan. Parang, ako... Kaya na mo pala, 800 or 900 nung una kasi yung mga pa custom cut pa. Yung yung sinasabi nila kung bear type ba or whatever style you want. Meron pa kasing additional fee dun. 
naiintindihan ko naman, mahirap naman talagang mag-gupet. Pero, mas maganda kasi kung ako ah, kung groomer, diretsuhan na parang kung basic cut, ito po yung price. Kung custom cut, ito po yung price. Kesa yung binibigla ka na, ah, by the way, ma'am, custom na pala to na nandun ka na. So, better ask that na. Aside from the custom cut, pwede mo rin actually tanungin kung ano yung shampoo and conditioner na ginagamit nila. Kasi, alam nyo ba guys, na pwede nyo naman talagang dalhin yung personal na gusto nyo or preference nyo. Bawa, hindi yung masyadong trip yung amoy or scent ng shampoo na ginagamit nila. Pwede mo talagang tanungin to guys. Kasi, right mo yun. Especially, may chow-chow ka. Sensitive yung balat ng chow-chow natin. At gusto mo lagi, at least quality naman yung gagamitin na product sa chow-chow mo. Number four, ito, natutunan ko na to. I never talk to the assistant or owner of the vet or the grooming shop. I always talk directly to the groomer. Okay, yung groomer, yung gagawa mismo sa aso mo. Kasi doon mo malalaman kung knowledgeable ba talaga sila doon sa mga breed na hinahandle nila. So, what you can ask are the following questions. So, number one, you can directly ask them anong credentials nila, how many years have they been doing this, um, ano na yung mga na-handle nila, background check, syempre, gagalawin nila yung ito. Number two, importante, have they handled any chow-chow before? Quick talk lang naman, huwag naman tayo guys, magkape-kape pa kayo, ba? Diba? Pero, kuya, ano ba, um, nahirapan ka ba noon? Paano mo hinahandle yung situation? Ito na guys, very, very red flag na to pag sinabi agad. Hindi ka pa nagtatanong, sasabihin na niya agad. Ah, ma'am, sa tingin ko to, kakalbuhin natin kasi maraming buhol. Okay, there's such thing as a comb for matted dogs. Alam mo naman, guys, eh, yung pag talagang hindi mo naalagaan yung chow-chow mo or yung dog mo na alam mong makakalbo talaga siya dahil talagang hindi mo na siya naalagaan. Pero yung mga paisa-isa naman, Hindi yun kinakalbo agad, guys. There's a proper way of how I do it, of how groomers do it. So, na-vlog ko yun, na-share ko na yun doon sa mga tips ko before check out nyo vlog na to. So, yun. So, hindi solusyon lagi ang pagpapakalbo. And for the 10,000th time, hindi po natin kinakalbo ang chow-chow natin. Double-coated dogs po sila. Ito pa yung another thing na lagi kong narinig. Uh, Mom, ipapikat natin yan. Ano yung, lahat na lang ng breed puppy ka para daw magmukhang puppy ang iyong chow-chow. Sa akin, laki-laki nila, hindi na po sila magmumukha puppy forever, kuya. So, please, walang, there's no such thing. Usually, sinasabi nila, ah, ma'am, ipapikat natin para mas gumanda yung tubo. <laughs> have their own way of keeping their coats and hair healthy and that is through shedding period. So, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa akin na pag ginupitan mo, eh, mas magaganda at talagu yung mo. Tip number five, look at the facilities around. Right mo yan. Tandaan nyo guys, dun sila pinapalikuan, tinutut pa siya, ninahawakan yung ears nila, yung mouth nila. So, pwede dito talaga magkasakit yung aso mo. So, expectations versus reality, lapat sinecheck mo yun. Tip number 6, ito, nami-miss out to ng maraming pet owners. Be mindful of the questions that your groomers ask you. Like, uh, ma'am, uh, na-vaccinate na po ba siya? Vaccinated? Fully vaccinated po ba siya? In time po ba yung take and flea supplements? Nagbabitamins po ba? Why ba? Hindi naman sa nangiintriga lang sila guys, pero alam mo that they are concerned of their people, yung groomers nila, kasi if ever may incident na makagat, at least may anti-rabies, as well as they care for other people's pets na hindi magkasakit, hindi magkahawaan doon sa shop. Or if they don't ask, you at least tell them, um, lahat po ba ng pets na nandito are fully vaccinated? Do you check those? Tip number seven, check your dog before you leave the grooming shop. Okay? So, usually kasi pag, ah, oh, cute! Ang oh, cute niya! Dinadala mo na agad yung dog mo. Well, mas maganda talaga na directly makita mo na para evidently nandun talaga makikita mo kung merong abrasions, may cuts yung dog mo. Kasi guys, if you really want their business na mag-improve at hindi na ito mangyari pa sa ibang pet owners, then might as well diretsohin mo na na, kuya, parang may sugat or ano, or Kuya, bakit parang iba yung dog ko ngayon? Alam niyo yun, check their 
um, skin, their paws, yung smell nila, yung ears nila, yung teeth nila, yung nails nila. Check everything. Okay guys, and last but not the least, trust your intuitions. Alam ko lahat tayo sa mga inner selves natin, meron tayong mga intuitions. At sundan nyo ito. I really, I really trust my instincts. If na hindi ko feel yung lugar, or hindi ko feel yung isa, kahit isang tao lang dun sa lugar, usually, I skip and look for the next one. Pero have it guys, hopefully may natutunan na naman kayo kay Mommy Ningi. Ngayon, sa ating mga comments, um, ini-encourage ko na mag-share na kayo ng mga experience nyo sa comment section because I love reading your comments. I love engaging with you guys. I like answering your questions as much as I could. Pag di ko alam, sinasabi ko naman. Pero yun, mag-share na kayo ng mga experience nyo para meron tayong mga story time dito sa comment of the week natin. Okay guys? Um, there you have it for this week. Um, I'll see you again on my next vlog. Bye!